Yo, what's going on, you guys? Your boy Bill Mahari here representing Mahari Nation Sports Podcast. Much love to the entire LDBC and the entire basketball community. No time to talk. Let's just get down to the chase here, guys. Unbelievable game between the Clippers and the Mavericks, man. Luka Doncic, what can you say about this kid? The man drilled a game-winning three-pointer in the face of Reggie Jackson to tie the series at two games apiece. What a performance by the youngster. Uh, Luka Doncic, 43 points, 17 rebounds, and 13 assists. Just an amazing performance, shooting 18 to 31 from the field, all right? This guy playing, basically playing through an injured ankle that he suffered in, on uh, Friday night. There was questions about him, you know, about his availability heading into the game. But he made it very clear, I'm I'm going to play, no matter no matter if I had to play through a bad ankle. And he, man, he this kid, bro, this kid. Is just a it's just a bad bad man, bro. And the scary part is he's only 21 years old. That's even the scary part. All right, you're looking at you're looking at this kid right now, and he is doing it to Paul George. He's doing it to Kawhi Leonard. He's doing it to 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 to, to two of the best defenders in the NBA right now. And the Clippers did it to themselves, you guys. They were up by as many as twenty-three, up by as many as twenty points, ending into the second, ending into the second half. And they allowed the Mavericks to get back into this ball game. They allowed Luka Doncic to get a, to get to work. Okay, they allowed him to, you know, basically work into the paint. You know, creating half, creating hack, havoc on the on the Clippers defense. You know, salute to uh, Seth Curry. He was six or seven from the field, providing instant offense to you guys. This, this, these guys did did a great job. You know what I'm saying? And the Clippers, I'm telling you, bro. Other than Paul George, you know Kawhi, uh, Kawhi. I'm sorry. Other than uh, Kawhi Leonard, I should say, Paul George, he disappeared, man. Three of thirteen, only scoring nine points. Only nine points, you guys. All right. The only guy, the only few people that the only guys who were in major double figures were Lou Williams. And thank goodness for Lou Williams, who got 30, who provided for 36 points off the bench. All right. If it wasn't for Lou Williams' production off the bench, this game would have been heavily in the Mavericks' favor. All right. Instead of going into overtime, you guys. Kawhi Leonard had had Lou Williams to help on. Reggie Jackson did his thing with 14 points, but and Zubak was doing his thing with 15 points. But from the second you know, from the second co-star, Paul George, three of thirteen guys, and this has been and this has been a huge problem for Paul George lately. You guys, he is he has been really been struggling. Uh, he only he basically he basically this this guy Paul George, who we expect him to be one of the best, you know, uh, one of the best swing men in the NBA, but he has been really been struggling. You guys, I'm telling you, he is not. I don't know what's I don't know what's up with the guy, but. He's just not been playing at his normal high level, you guys. And, you know, and if you're a Lit Clippers fan, that should really, it should really concern you, to say the least. It really, really should concern you. 14 points in game one. Uh, in game two, game three, 11 points. And jacking up bad shots. Then tonight, he shoots three of 13 for nine points. It's I said this last night, and I'm going I'm to say it again, okay, you guys. Listen. Paul George has got to step up and play better, all right? The guy has been literally been one of the main reasons why the Clippers the Clippers have been struggling to basically get some points. Thank goodness for Lou Williams, you guys. Thank goodness for the guy. But for without him, all right, without him, you know, this 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 would have been a this would have been a 3-1 series lead favor in terms for the uh, Dallas Mavericks right now. And Paul George, man, you got to step up, bro. You got to step up, man. And, you know, that huge run in the third quarter, you know, that huge run for the third quarter for the Mavericks really was the one that shifted the momentum in their favor. And I don't know why Doc Rivers didn't want to call timeout. He was so disgusted of, of the team's defensive efforts that he basically left them out there to pretty much say, no, I'm not going to bail you guys out. You guys are going to have to figure this out on your own because you're not playing the kind of defense that I'm looking for to try to, to try to basically get back to basically play and get back into this game. And they eventually waked up and turned things around in the uh, fourth quarter. But by that time, it was too late. The Dallas Mavericks uh, offense was in high gear. And right now, Dallas Mavericks are, are, have major confidence right now. You know, they picked up a big victory. They were able to come back. You know, they got, they got into overtime. 
And basically because of that, now you got a 2-2 tie. And if you're the L.A. Clippers, this should concern you because you had no you had no Chris Stapp or Zingas. Luka Doncic was playing hurt. And, and the kid basically just toyed with your defense. He made your defense look like putty. All right, you guys? This is, this is not a joke. The more and more I watch Luka Doncic play, the more and more I am convinced that this guy is going to be a superstar for the next decade. This kid, it, this talent for this kid is just unbelievable. And going back to draft night, I bet you the, I bet you the Atlanta Hawks would have thought, thought we could have, should have kept the kid. But, you know, you still got Trey Young doing his thing too. And I don't think you would have went, would have went wrong either way. But I think Luka Doncic is going to be the, one of the all-time – Drafts that draft trades that they'll ever make in the history of NBA basketball. I bet you on that. But I'm going to save the whole clip for Paul George, man, because Paul George, bro, Paul George has been absolutely disappointing in these playoffs, you guys. Only averaging, what, 13 points a game in the first four games of the series. And today he shoots three of 13 from one of the, from, and he's supposed to be the co star for the Clippers. Come on, man. That, that's just, that, I, I need to see more out of Paul George, man. I need to see more out of Paul George, bro. And if if Paul George don't step up Tuesday night in game five, the Clippers will be in trouble. I promise you. All right. Paul George had better make amends for what he did today. Okay. For basically getting beat off the dribble by Paul George. I'm, I'm sorry, by Luka Doncic for basically getting, get, basically not taking better shots. I mean, he also was missing layups, guys. First, he was jacking up shots in game three. Then he was missing layups on the inside. I mean, if it, if, if, if that it does not show you that the man is struggling right now, I don't know what else to tell you guys. It's clear, it's clear to me right now the Clippers are going to be in serious trouble. They need to really refocus and turn things around because right now, if the Mavericks find a way to steal game five, all the talk about the Clippers always being – will ever be in the second fiddle to the Lakers, it's going to confirm it on itself once again. And you're going to have to rechannel back to 2015 when – the Clippers, has, when the Clippers were held a three games to one lead against the Rockets, and basically blew that lead away. All right, you guys, this is this is some serious stuff here. You guys, the Clippers had, came into this year with championship aspirations. When you got Paul George and uh, Kawhi Leonard on your squad, and with all that talent around with Lou Williams, uh, Zubac, you know uh, Montrez Harrell, and by the way, Montrez Harrell, you may have just woken up a monster when you basically decided to run your mouth, bro, like. I don't. I get it's trash talking, you know, but bro, you, you, you didn't have to go that far. But you woken up a sleeping giant after after he basically after he basically, you know, got hurt and get and got hurt with the injured ankle. I'm talking about Luka Doncic here, and then he drops a triple double, the second highest scoring triple double in NBA history. All right, let me say it again: forty three points, seventeen rebounds, thirteen assists on eighteen of thirty one shooting. All right. And he had three air balls from the three point line. And the kid still had the courage to basically toy with, with Reggie with Reggie Jackson. All right. Take him off the dribble, pulled up and hit the three right in his grill in front of the Clipper bench. All right. This kid has got balls of steel. All right. The, the Clippers got a, the Clippers are going to be in for a true fight for the rest of the way. Now, I think now I am convinced. This is going to go to a seven-game series, Un unless if the Mavericks find a way to steal game five. If they steal game five, uh, it it's going to be real difficult to try to beat the Mavericks Beat the Mavericks in game six. So this is a very big game Tuesday night. I can't wait for game five. Don't miss it, guys. Game five between the uh, Mavericks and the Clippers, you guys. I mean, it's going to be epic. All right, you guys. You thought, you thought we saw a season drama here? This might turn out to be the best first round series of all the playoff series that we've seen so far. And the day's not over yet, though, guys. So I'm going to check out the uh, Brooklyn Nets and the uh, Toronto Raptors uh, right now, you guys. So, but tell me what you guys think of the comments section. Let me know what you guys' thoughts about the Luka Doncic performance. And do you guys believe that the Clippers are now indeed in trouble if Paul George does not sh show up and be his normal all star self? But tell me what you guys think in the comments section.